Hey guys, this is Desert Eagle Clone, Desert Eagle X on YouTube, and it is Easter Sunday, and I am going to be looking at the Minecraft Beta 1.5 and its new features. Uh, I know I'm a bit late on this, I haven't been playing Minecraft for a while, but anyway, welcome to my humble abode. And, um, so the first thing, weather, I'm in a uh, tundra biome, but you can't really see any of the weather, I haven't seen any of it yet myself. Um, but I know, uh, because I saw my brother playing his game, uh, weather does different things. Uh, there's now snow, rain, and lightning. Lightning occurs during storms, um, and it can pretty much gives a flash of light that's as bright as the sun, and sometimes it happens at night, it's illuminates the dark. Um, snow accumulates on the ground or whatever block is on top um, after so long of it snowing on that block so yay instead of it just randomly spawning uh, and it's renewable um, also in addition the major addition that a lot of people have been waiting for are achievements and statistics now when I first logged in there was a little um, there was a little box a little uh, pop-up in this upper right portion of my UI that said push I to open the inventory and when I did that it gave me my first achievement now apparently uh, what it looks like is this achievement system works off of a tree where you have to fulfill certain achievements before you get other achievements which um, frankly I'm not a big fan of but hey it works and I think it's kinda cool just the uh, just the interface to look at is pretty cool but um, anyway, um, so the other big thing is statistics, which will keep track of various things for you, such as distance, dove, flown, climbed, fallen, swum, etc., etc., so on and so forth, times died, games quit, mob kills, stuff like that, um, and the different blocks you've used and different items you've used. Um, but keep in mind that all the statistics are going to be based off of beta 1.5 going forward. So anything you've done prior isn't counted in your statistics. Um, another welcome addition to uh, Minecraft other than achievements and statistics is also um, powered minecart tracks, which pretty, pretty much eliminate the uh, old minecart booster system. Um, to be perfectly honest, I thought that the booster system kind of sucked just because of, for aesthetic reasons, and so I will definitely be using this. I'm not sure if the booster things even work because I have not checked. Um, but if he's trying, if he saw that as a bug, if not saw that as a bug and was trying to get rid of it, then he probably did so already. Um, but yeah, now you've got your powered rails, and how these work is you place one down and while it is charged while it is powered by redstone then it will wait what am i doing uh i don't need a stick i need a pressure plate while it's powered by redstone any cart that moves over it will be accelerated to full speed now what i also just made is a detector rail uh it's essentially a switch like a pressure plate button that will temporary trigger redstone, but it can only be activated by a minecart. So, let's check this out, shall we? To the laboratory. So, let's see, I've got some... I don't have any regular mine tra tracks in here. Do I have a crafting table back here? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Um... show you a little bit about these. I don't know exactly how they work myself, but I just want to play around with them a little bit. Got some regular car tracks. Got a minecart. I guess, to a certain extent, this um, eliminates powered minecarts. But, I mean, I'm a big fan of that. I didn't really like how the uh, powered minecarts work that well anyway. But anyway, so... Switch in our powered minecart and our uh, booster. So let's see how this. 
fighting. Let's see. Boost it once. Boost it again.